Hello, this is James. I come to you in my night form because Konami has released the information for the next main box, Absolute Terror, Absolute Inferno. Uh, and this main box features Red Dragon Archfiend as the ma mascot. The overall main box has uh, fits Red Dragon Archfiend perfectly. It ha it's a bunch of destruction by card effect, so Yubel will fit in well here. And rev up your Stardust Dragon counter decks, but uh, I don't know if you can counter all of the, all of the many destroys. I think you might just have to go with the flow and and buy the new decks. All right, so Red Dragon Archfiend declares an attack, destroy all the defense position monsters your opponent controls. No, after it has attacked, very cool. Laval Dragon level five, fire synchro one tuner plus one or more non tuner fire monsters. Shuffle two Lavals from your graveyard in your main deck. Target one card your opponent controls. Return it to the hand. Not once per turn. Super good, but only in the late game when you can do a bunch of, of returns. But like a really good effect, given that it's a low level and has a very light restriction. It only needs a fire non-tuner monster. Very good. Uh, Chaos King Archfiend, when it attacks, you can switch all the... All the current attack and defense of all phase of monsters your opponent controls until the end of the battle phase. For some reason, he has the same uh, 2600 attack and defense, even though he's not affected by his own effect. But that's neat. But he's a level seven, and he does not counter all of the all of the all of the destroy effect. So sounds cool. Will probably be cool, but is not cool right now. Uh, Cerulean Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. So, hope you made a play for and received your Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys from the old mini box with the UR sales. Uh, this has a million effects, but basically, the Nephthys archetype that we're getting right now uh, has a bunch, a lot of destroy effects, and they're probably going to be super fun to play, and you probably want. Multiple Sacred Phoenix in addition to multiple Cerulean Sacred Phoenix. Yeah, tons and tons. And then during your next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by Batoru or card effect, not now Firefox, bring it back. Special summon this card from the graveyard. Pretty much the only thing it's vulnerable to is um, Floodgate Trap Hole. Because like even Canada, like they destroy it and then, and then it just comes right back. Uh, Brotherhood of the Firefist Spirit, when this is normal summon, so it has a bunch of restrictions. Uh, you can only, you special summon a, a level 3 fire monster, but then when you do this effect, you can't synchro it into anything but a beast warrior, and then, da da da, yeah, you can only use this one. Oh, no. The, okay, wait. I'm thinking about the other one. I'm, I'm thinking about the, the horse spirit. So, this is good, but I it doesn't. it's not going to be good, you know, forever. It's going to be good for this box, and then, like, a couple boxes later, they'll release another, like, good Beast Warrior. No, 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 wait. Yeah, they'll, they'll release, like, another good, like, level 3 fire monster, 200 or less defense that can be special summon. Anyway, this will be good... Right now, I mean, right now, and then maybe after another main box, and then it'll be power crept by something. The artwork is amazing, though. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. So just a normal, regular Fire Fist card that's not that's not spirit, uh, that is an ultra rare. Once turn, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can set one Fire Formation spell card directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can send one face-up Fire Formation spell card you control the graveyard. Target one monster in the field, destroy that target. Lots of destroy effects. And I contemplated a lot of titles for this video. And here's the one I picked. Cyber Dragon in Duel Links. We have Vice Dragon. If your opponent controls a monster, you control no monster. You can special summon this card from your hand, but its original attack and defense become halved. Basically, Cyber Dragon for the purpose of Synchro Shokan. Yes, Cyber Dragon is better. Yes, I want Cyber Dragon too. But Vice Dragon is what we got, and it is a main box ultra rare. This is a card that you're going to want to dig for, uh, until, of course, it's power crept by Cyber Dragon. That is 
a thousand attack points, or maybe actually no, I think eleven hundred. Cyber Dragon's twenty one hundred. Uh, eleven hundred attack points bigger when you special summon it by its effect. Regardless, you will want this right now. Uh, we're also getting some pretty good. Oh no, wait, we're not even done with the ultra rares yet. What are we doing? Vice Dragon, Living Fossil, and Dark Bribe. So Living Fossil. So actually, it's also interesting that we're getting cards that were exclusive to event duelists so soon after the event duelist because we had Tyrannal Hassaberry like just feels like last month or like two months ago and then in a couple in like a week we're getting him again anyway living fossil you revive a card and then when this card is removed you banish the card but if you do it with giant rex then you get to get giant rex back so living fossil uh neat little card for special summoning banished monsters uh, and then we're getting Dark Bribe, which I saw Disease's video about why specifically Dark Bribe is horrible. So I guess this isn't good. But when an opponent's spell trap card is, is activated, your opponent draws one card. Also negate the spell trap activation. And if you do, destroy it. So you're giving your opponent a card back. But I don't know. I feel like that's potentially worth it for negating a key combo piece. Like... If you had Dark Bribe and your opponent activated Diamond Core of Kwaki Meru, would you activate Dark Bribe? Like probably, right? Like you you negate the search and then they they can still use the Diamond Core in the graveyard. They get an extra card in the hand, but they're not getting what they want. They're not getting the crucial search. So kind of a toss up. Uh, all right, our first super rare Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince. So this is what you're special summoning with. No, with Spirit, Spirit, uh, Horse Prince, after you Synchro Shokan, okay, so if you synchro, spe if this is Synchro Summon, you can Special Summon a level 3 Fire Monster from your deck, after you Synchro Summon this mon this card, you cannot Special Summon level 5 or higher monsters for the rest of the turn, so you can't Synchro Climb off of, off of Spirit into... Horse Prince, because it would be way too easy. Uh, Devotee of Nephthys, so this is... Oh, yeah, and then the Ritual card. The Ritual card for, for the Nephthys archetype is when you tribute either... I think it's Devotee or Cerulean Sacred Phoenix. You get to destroy a card off of the Ritual Summon. And then if this card is Ritual Summon, you can special summon a Nephthys monster from your deck. Also, during the end phase of this turn, destroy this card. That's good. You get the card out. Uh, pretty sure that doesn't count for Cerulean Sa Sacred Th Phoenix uh, because it's a ritual monster. It needs to be properly ritual summoned first. But you can special summon uh, the regular Sacred Phoenix and also the other Nep Nephthys cards. If this card is in your graveyard, you can destroy one Nephthys card in your hand. And if you do, special summon this card. So you can get it back, but like it doesn't... Oh, no, 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 this is why you want it back. You want it back because, again, with the Ritual Summon, uh, if you tribute Devotee of Nephthys, you get, you, get you get a free destroy. So that's, that's why you would want to bring her back, in case you were wondering. Uh, Laval Lakeside Lady, more Laval support. But this, see, this is, see, like, there is a, there's a difference between the premium, the Nephthys cards that require cards that are outside of the box and are also constitute a large portion of the upper tier, and then... Laval's, which if this card is in your graveyard and you have three or more Laval monsters with different names in your graveyard. So you can only use her in like the mid game because you're not gonna get that many Laval's in your in your graveyard in turn one. And don't tell me about grass decks, all right? Grass looks greener is a huge scam. Uh yeah, you can banish this card. One other Laval monster from your graveyard, target one set card, your opponent controls, destroy that target. But so it's just it's like a tuner with extra things. Genix Ally Duradark, but see, what you can only use it after you've Synchro Shokan, right? Does that, does, is that, is that adding up? Like, so there's, there's, um, there's a difference. There's a difference between this and this, and not that one's blue and one's red. Uh, Genix Ally Duradark during your main in combo with DNA Transplant. DNA Transplant once a turn, you can destroy any of your opponent's face-up monsters. That will be cool. Uh, Dread Dragon, destroyed by battle, sent to the graveyard, you can add one level 3 or lower Dragon-type monster from your deck 
to your hand. I don't know, search Exploder Dragon. There's probably something really good that you can search and then use its effect when you add it to your hand, except by drawing, you can special summon it, but it's not coming to mind right now. Three Trolling Trolls, like a very flexible tuner, uh, does a lot of stuff with Beast Warriors, yeah. Do, do, do. You cannot special summon the monsters to turn you activate either of these cards effects except beast warrior monsters. So I guess more like because there aren't really any good beast warrior synchros except for horse prince. I guess. Uh Dread Dragon, three trolling trolls. Flame Vel Guard, the reason that this is a super rare is because it's a normal, and normals have more flexibility. So like a normal tuner is very interesting. Because you can just search it with uh, search and special summon it with unexpected die, another ultra rare other box card. Alexandrite Dragon, irritating 2,000 attack point normal monster, but at least this one's a dragon, so it has more support. Molten Conduction Field, uh, dump two Laval's Skill Prisoner. So this is like Galaxy Cyclone, but it's a trap card. So target a card you control this turn when any monster effect resolves that targeted this card activation and get the effect. And then, during a different turn, then you send it to the graveyard, you can banish it and do the same thing. So, providing the value. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone was like kind of an okay replacement for Cosmic Cyclone when it came out, but now Galaxy Cyclone is the shiz, thanks to Gear Town. I expect that to not happen with Skill Prisoner. People are just going to play this immediately. Bad Aim. Yeah, these two... These two, the new meta, I, so the, these two are interesting because, um, actually bad aim more so, but it used to be, you had to go through the whole main box to get like the good staple cards. And then it, now it feels like they're just throwing them at us as, as super rare. So it'll be a lot easier for everybody to run these cards that people hate. When your opponent's card or effect is activated, when anything happens, target one card on the field, other than this card, destroy it. Uh, so with the sacred v with the Neptus cards, this obviously has more flex uh, has more use. But everyone's just going to use this to just just destroy everything and greatly simplify the game state. Unless you prepared your Stardust counters and then Laval Dual Slasher. There's one of these one of these rares look good. I wanted to talk about it. Oh yeah, see see these these were King these were King Sama exclusive cards. I think. And then now we're getting them, Lance Lord, Handmaiden. Uh, Handmaiden's the same as Lady of the Lake, pretty sure, except her hair is more perky. Uh, Caribou, Rooster, Nephthys, Defender of Nephthys. Oh, oh no, I think I know what it is. Yeah, it's the... Yeah, la no, not Last Hope of Nephthys. Get out. The, 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 ritual, the ritual Summon. The Ritual Card. Anyway, I already told you what it does. When you, when you Ritual Summon, using the card, tributing either Cerulean or... Devotee of Nephthys, you can destroy a card in the field. So, look forward to this in about... What's 24 plus 7? 20, 31 hours, roughly, by my reckoning. 31 hours from now. We will have all of these wonderful destroy cards. Thank you for watching.